I apologize that this is my third video for the matter now. I wasn't going to make this video until GTA gentleman could not keep his mouth shut in his own Discord. So if you have no idea what is going on, basically... There was a Google image that I downloaded because I was looking for a thumbnail for a live stream about two weeks ago. I usually make my own thumbnails. I don't really get involved with the whole downloading and using other people's content or whatever. But I downloaded this and uh, it was on Google. I figured it was fair use. And it didn't even say that it belonged to a YouTuber. I found it on a website like a GTA forum or some shit. That was what was the description underneath it. So I downloaded it and added a few things to it and changed the overall scheme of it. But it was still somewhat identifiable as being uh, a thumbnail that GTA Gentleman had created. Well, somebody tipped him off or somebody put him up to it. But right after I ended that live stream, I had a copyright strike for using the thumbnail. Then GTA Gentleman himself go on and steal thumbnail from TGG. I talk about this on my second video as well as one of my live streams. And that should be the end of the matter. However, GTA Gentleman has been talking a lot recently on his Discord. So basically what happened was if you are not aware, GTA Gentleman was celebrating reaching 200,000 subscribers a few days ago. Then not only recently he removed the comments, he also started to feel the heat. His videos are getting more dislike after TGG has uploaded a video on him. But he also get a lot of people leaving criticism on his videos. So I guess maybe GTA gentleman cannot take it anymore and started to show his true color. Basically GTA gentleman denied that he was stealing and accused people making things up even there are solid proof. He also believes it is not immature things if any YouTuber makes a video on him. And of course, he is calling those people fake. Possibly he is talking about those people that make videos on him or people that unsubscribe from his channel. He also claimed that he doesn't care about the 200,000 subscribers milestone. Then he jokingly called himself a hypocrite. And why it is actually funny? Because some jokes actually based on some truth within. But then according to GTA gentlemen, that this is not stealing. But this is stealing. I guess he was telling the truth. He was indeed a hypocrite. Even his own thumbnail are actually logo from Rockstar in first place. Which I have no issue with. Cause that was indeed fair use. I also don't believe what Adidas did was intentional because he found a thumbnail on Google and make it better, much better. And if you are wondering whether GTA gentleman will apologize, no. He doesn't think he has done anything wrong. And the only person that has wronged him was JK Gamers. So unfortunately, there will be no chance for GTA gentleman to release the strike and JK Gamers will not be able to live stream on his main channel until the 16th of February. The good thing is the community that support JK Gamer is strong and he can still make a living on his second channel. In conclusion, GTA gentleman doesn't care if he lose subscribers. That means nothing to him and if you make a video on him, you are fake. If you unsubscribe from his channel because you believe he is a clickbait YouTuber and content theft, you are also a fake subscriber. But like every big YouTuber under the sky, he's gonna be fine. Like every controversial YouTubers, people will forget about it and moves on in a few months. Anyway, this is what JK Gamers has to say in one of his live stream. Are you going to respond to what GTA Gentleman said about you? No. I have no words for him. He already knows, dude. He just is upset. And he's trying not to show it. This is the first time he's broken his resolve and spoken publicly about anything in over a month. And thousands of people have been at him. That means it's finally chipped away at him and he's so fucking fed up with it that he finally came out and say something. Which means that he's feeling it. He's bothered whether he wants to admit it or not. And I... You know, I... I never wanted this to even happen, like, at all.
I don't know. I didn't even know who the fuck he was like that. Like, it's just whatever. It, I'm not going to do anything. I don't have to do or say anything. Karma's got my back in every situation that plays out. If I deserve something wrong, it'll happen to me. If I did anything wrong, I'll get what I got coming for it. And so will everybody else. There's other people that were involved too that will get their way. As always, those are my personal opinion of this situation. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Bruh.